In this tutorial, a web page will be constructed that will give binary output of some logic gates based on binary inputs. The web page will be designed using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Inside Visual Studio Code, we create HTML file called Logic Gates. Within the title tags, we name the web page Logic Gates. Then we click to open the live server. Before we begin coding, we need to look at the elements of the web page we want to build. We have two input selectors to give binary 0 or 1, a logic gate selector to choose AND or XOR gate, a button to generate the binary output which will be displayed at the output field. Within H1 tags, we put the main heading of the web page. For the first input selection, we use the select tags having a class name and an ID name. The class name will be referenced within the CSS file while the ID name will be referenced within the JavaScript code. Inside the select tag, we have two option tags with value 0 and value 1. We add another select tag for the second input selection. Next we add a select tag for the logic gate selection, which will have three option tags for AND, OR, XOR. We add the button tag, on click will call the JavaScript function. Finally, we use the input tag so that the output can be displayed on it. Now we've finished the HTML coding. We need to write the JavaScript code, so we need to create a JavaScript file. Using the script tag, we link the JavaScript file with the HTML file. Inside the JavaScript file, we define the function gate output. And then using the get element by ID, we get three values from the three select tags. Using a switch statement, we compute the output logic based on the selected logic gate. Finally, by using get element by ID, we return the output value to the input tag. Now we test the logic gates web page by applying different inputs and verifying that the output is correct. The final stage of coding is to add style to the web page. So we need to create a CSS file to add our CSS code. We then link the CSS file to the HTML file by using the link tag. Next we go to the Google Fonts website and search for this font. We select the font and copy the generated link into our HTML file. Inside the CSS file, we add our CSS code and get a stylish look to the web page. The CSS part of coding is very subjective and will depend on how you want your web page presented. A link to all of the codes will be available in the video description. In my future videos, I will design web pages that can be used to solve electrical engineering problems in the fields of circuit analysis and logic design. Thank you for watching.